Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Xiang. I'm a, a CTO, software division, and one master. Today, I'm very glad uh, to introduce industrial cyber redundancy and uh, cyber security uh, for you. Uh, let's talk a look uh, today's agenda. And the first topic, I will introduce the challenges of proprietary internet ring redundancy. In this topic, I will introduce the uh, critical problems in the industrial proprietary ring. And also, I will uh, introduce uh, solutions of one master ERPS version 2 plus. Well, this is a, a exclusive, exclusive uh, solution uh, for one, one master. And then I will introduce how to use ERPS version 2 visualization over the master. And then introduce uh, ERP, ERSTP, that is enhanced ISTP. The next topic I will introduce the patented uh, wireless redundancy. Uh, we totally have three patents uh, for one master, including a redundant uh, wireless gateway uh, for industrial Ethernet uh, ring network, and also includes a wireless backup when uh, ERPS ring is broken, and then we can use the 4G, 5G, or Wi-Fi can be backup ring. And also uh, it includes a seamless Wi-Fi data offloading uh, to serial network on vehicle. And the third topic I will introduce is about the uh, uh, industrial cybersecurity. In this topic, I will introduce the defense in depth approach and also introduce the advantages of all master cybersecurity. And also, uh, Things Master OTA is cloud based cybersecurity technology and uh, how we use the cloud based cybersecurity technology to protect our device uh, in an industrial environment. And the fourth topic I, I will introduce is the uh, Things Master OTA over QNAP NAS. So right now our Things Master OTA can run in uh, seamless on the QNAP NAS. So we can take uh, many advantages of QNAP NAS. But later I'll more detailed in introduction about the advantage of uh, we use the OTA over QNAP NAS. And then the last topic I'll introduce the advantages of routing switch uh home master. 3019 series. Uh, I will introduce the advantages between a, a router switch and also uh, the difference, major differences, and also advantages for the routing router switch. Okay, and then we start the first topic. Uh, it's uh, about the proprietary ring critical problems one in the industry. Then uh, uh, we we uh, take a look. Uh, this network topology. Uh, when the ne network coupling, uh, when these are two rings, and we use uh, uh, this uh, uh, connection between two rings. Okay. So this way is the network coupling. Uh, when this is a normal state. Okay. And we see the traffic from the PLC, uh, PLC A. Uh, we see the traffic uh, when sent from the PLC A to the PLC B. And then we see the flow, the, the, the data will go through. Uh, go through here, go, go to the upper ring, and then go to through the designated port, and then go to the PLCB. So that's in a normal state. Uh, there's no problem here. The problem is here when uh, when, uh, when uh, the network coupling recovery time is too long. Uh, it's too long. Uh, when we see uh, in this approach, uh, this topology we use in the proprietary ring. Here and we use the proprietary ring here and we use the dual homing. Uh, this is the proprietary in the industry. And the problem when uh, we see the normal traffic uh, go through this way, uh, PLC A to PLC B C, the data will go through in this path. Without uh, when the when uh, when already uh, designated link is failure, and then this is backup backup link already replaced to the technique one. Or uh, this one right now is this the native link, but you, you can see there is no topology change here. So all the packet go through from go uh, one from the PLC A want to go to go to the PLC B. They still go the old path. I uh, will start here, uh, here. So you can see the foreign network path does not change. Uh, no topology change here. So it cannot send to the PLC B uh, in this case. 
then the PLCA still need to wait uh, the ICMP, the standard ICMP timeout. It may take 30 seconds or may, or make an address table edge out. So it takes maybe longer than 30 seconds uh, to connect to the PLC. So it takes a long time. Uh, here you can see there's problems, very critical problem in the proprietary ring. The one master solution is using a uh, we use the uh, ERPS uh, version 2 uh, for all devices in the network topology. You can see here, uh, over the network here, and also network, all the devices here, we, we apply the ERPS version 2, uh, version 2 in all devices, all ne in the network. And then when the one, when the designated uh, link is failure, the backup path uh, will take place to designated one also. But you can notice, you can notice, the top part, the foreign network uh, has changed immediately. So from the traffic from the PLC A to, to PLC B will very quickly to change to the backup path. So of course right now, this path right now is designated path. Then go through the right path, right path to the PLC B. So this is almost seamless. Later we'll see the time for the recovery time. So this will guarantee or by using the ERPS version two solution, will guarantee uh, when the network coupling have problems, uh, when the designated path only change to a back path, we can guarantee uh, the recovery time uh, is very uh, smooth, uh, almost seamless. This is the, the solution uh, we solve the network coupling problems in the proprietary. Ring. Then uh, the proprietary ring still have another problem, uh, critical problems. That is in the giga copper port. Every time is too long. Uh, we see here, uh, the, the copper, uh, the giga copper here is very low. This this is because the giga copper the physical limitation. The ring recovery time is around uh, 350 uh, millisecond to 700 millisecond. The gigabit copper interface. So this is a very typical uh, problems happen in the giga copper port. Every time is too long. Uh, let's take a look at our solution. Our solution, uh, one master apply Broadcom CFM uh, technology to take big, big port, uh, little port. Uh, here, uh, we apply Broadcom uh, CFM technology to detect big fault. The CFM transmission interval uh, can be within uh, 3.3 milliseconds. So the device can detect link a uh, fault, big fault here within 11 uh, 11, almost 11 milliseconds. That will be 3.5 times the CFM. So when a device detects, when a device detects, detects the CFM timeout, it will notify ERPS version two the ring port is full. Then the ERPS IPO owner will forward the backup path. Then the recovery time gigabit copper can reach 20 seconds at. Uh, 250 pieces. So the minimum will be, so uh, this is our solution to apply a uh, program CFM technology. So that's what uh, we call the one master ERPS version two plus solution. And this is solution we can see the apply, uh, after we apply the program CFM technology, then we can reach minimum uh, 12 milliseconds every time, seamless restoration time. Or uh, this is one master patented technology. Or uh, this is comparison. Right now, we can we apply Broadcom CFM technology in our ERPS version two. Uh, that will be 20 milliseconds at 250 milliseconds. These devices. So that's the is how we solve the critical problems, gigabit copper recovery time problem by using the ERPS version two and uh, apply Broadcom CFM technology. And this is a uh, uh, way uh, all master ERPS uh, can replace. Uh, we can interoperability with uh, third party devices. Uh, this is very important because uh, uh, we are ERPS version 2 plus, but we need to compatible uh, interoperability with third party devices. Well, that's very important. So we can see that the first part, uh, we can see uh, we can compatible with third party devices, standard standard ERPS version two without problems. And also we can 
place the biggest green cluster chain and new homing uh, topology. But you can see this naval topology, any of the topology here uh, for the legacy technology, it, it bring chain and dual homing uh, lots of uh, technology integrate together, but it's not easy to use, easy to configure, they still have problems. And we use one standard, open standard ERP version 2 compared for, uh, to a third party devices. So it's a very open and flexible new topology. Uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, our uh, Warmaster ERPS version 2 plus current time test results. Uh, this is, you can see, we test by our uh, different models, different DP test models. And the scenario one here is one major ring, one major, totally uh, 50 devices. And then scenario two here, we use a uh, major ring and uh, uh, 24 sub rings. So totally, uh, it's still uh, 50 devices. We can see the failover time and the restoration time of uh, different interfaces. You can see it's up to, and the minimum will be two milliseconds, two milliseconds way over time. So it's better than uh, it's better than our expected. And then you can see this is seamless restoration time. Uh, we can uh, it's, uh, the seamless uh, is zero milliseconds seamless. So you can see also from the gear cover, uh, we still can get uh, uh, four milliseconds, four milliseconds in this case, four milliseconds every time. Okay, let's go to the next slide. This is a test result uh, for Warmaster ERPS version 2 plus uh, the interoperability test results. Uh, many customers are concerned about the interoperability of it. So, so we, this, uh, we verify our ERPS version 2 plus with the extreme uh, submit uh, this model, this model ERPS uh, interoperability. And also we use the Siemens to test uh, this demons, this demons is a dream, dream. So, as with other vendors, parties, appears version two, uh, we still can get a very quick uh, failover time in the origin time. So this is our uh, solution. And uh, we still can uh, can have a good results with a uh, third party in ERPS. And we go to the next slide. This is the total uh, the uh, the plus the mix in mix project. That means our ERP version two is not only in our uh, wired device, it's also including our serial device, our serial device. So uh, by using our our uh, ERP version two, uh, it works in in a, we can uh, combine the wired device and also uh, wireless uh, wireless uh, devices. In a major ring, sub ring, or in any place. So this is a mixed part. Uh, we still can get a very fast recovery time, seamless restoration time. Then this is a uh, try to introduce a uh, very easy to use uh, or name master to visualize the ERPS. Uh, for ring, uh, this is important to know uh, which one we would like to know from the name master. We, uh, may, many customers, may occasion uh, need to know, would like to know the ERPS, uh, which one is major ring, the ring during status, and also the uh, sub ring status. So right now we are visualized. We can use different color to show uh, which one is major ring and the uh, sub ring in purple and in different colors. And also you can see uh, which link is in backup path. Uh, as you can see, this is we use stage line here, stage link, uh, to show. Or uh, this is not study line. So that means this is in the backup page, and also this is the, the major ring, and uh, this yellow here, this is the sub ring, and also this is the backup page for the sub ring. So very clear uh, to show in the name master. And all, right now we support the DS and also DP ISRP all product series, all the three white product series, and also. We support third-party ERP devices. So third-party devices, you can use, uh, we still can visualize the ERP status, uh, major ring, sub ring status uh, uh, for over the name master. It's a very convenient tool uh, to see the ERP status. I use different colors. Also, uh, e uh, is very important. 
very important uh, from the viewpoint of cybersecurity or from the network segmentation uh, usage. VLAN is very always important uh, in the network, uh, in the industrial network technology. The, uh, they must uh, also support the VLAN visualization. Okay, you see here, devices, uh, ports, links, the VLAN ID can be color coded or color coded. Okay, see different VLAN number here you can choose. It will automatically dictate uh, how many VLAN in this topology here. So you can choose uh, the, the existing VLAN which million or you want to show and then they will display in different colors and also uh, device uh, will be in blue a trunk port exit port uh, will be in blue or orange a link blue or blue orange or gray for trunk exit and mixed links so it's very easy uh, to distinguish the port status the uh, device status link status and also uh, we support right now is support DSDP uh, also ISRP policy is always supported. This version, uh, all the wireless, wireless products, including WR and CB series, will be supported in the next version of the master. So the, this is a very easy VLAN visualization uh, with you, all the feature for the name master. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, we already introduced the, uh, our Wall Master exclusive uh, uh, ARPS version 2 plus features uh, and the advantages. Uh, right now, I also want to introduce uh, another important feature in the ERSTP, this enhanced RSTP, also Wall Master patented technology. This technology, most important to one to one to, uh, we are not only uh, enhanced performance for the recovery time. And uh, we, the most important, we want to enhance the size uh, for large rig network technologies. The industrial application are uh, uh, normally, uh, normally in the industrial, uh, in the normally in the normal ISTB, it, it can support up to uh, 25 or it will be less, less than 30 devices in a ring. And in the industrial environment, uh, you, the customer, uh, in some occasions, uh, some project they want to use RSTV, but it's not enough for just less than 30 devices in a ring. So we provide this solution. Uh, we provide this enhanced RSTV. We can support up to uh, 80 switches and also in a ring. And also it can be can compatible to any uh, parties uh, RSTV without problem. So this is enhanced RSTP, uh, enhanced RTP uh, for one method one patented technology. And then uh, we can see uh, that this is a full uh, line already supported, uh, all the product series. You can see this is our gateway, this is our switch, uh, also uh, layer two, including the layer two and also layer three switch, uh, including the PoE, with PoE or without PoE. We also support uh, PS uh, version two plus. And also you can see our gateway series, our gateway and also router series, also a routing switch series, and also uh, the edge computer series. All part of line only support WA version 2 plus. And then the next topic I'm going to introduce our uh, important patents uh, for redundancy. Redundancy is very important. So we uh, we uh, we are not only support ERPS plus, ERPS plus solution for the ring redundancy. We also, if the ring is broken state, broken, uh, that means it have two fails in one ring. And in this status, this status, the ring is open state. Yeah, this ring is open state. And then we can provide redundant gateway, redundant gateway. There's one major gateway, original major gateway here, and then we can uh, have a redundant gateway, uh, gateway when the ring is open state, uh, open state. Uh, without the gateway, uh, then to get the, uh, the POC here, uh, so you can uh, connect to the cloud or connect to uh, Ethernet, no problem. So this is uh, one master, uh, one of the important inclusive uh, while it's without the gateway uh, uh, for the ring in the open state. This one is also uh, the second pattern. Uh, this one is also uh, exclusive wireless backup for broken ERPS ring, uh, 
IoT or Wi-Fi. Here, uh, when ERPS is broken state, that means uh, in this case, uh, there are two failed, failed two failed link happened in the, in the ERPS. So right now, in this case, ERPS is an open state, is in the open state. And then we can use the all this patent technology by using the Wi-Fi or LT technology, of course, it is probably good. Also uh, visible for 5G, and then we can connect to the VPN server, and then they can uh, back up uh, the the ring, uh, back up the ring. So this technology we use uh, the wireless technology uh, to back up the ring, uh, back up the ring when the wind is in open state. So this is also uh, important dominant patent, master exclusive patent. And this is the third important patent in the wireless <coughs> on the uh, this is a uh, uh, seamless to provide this patent is to provide a seamless Wi-Fi schedule. When uh, we when we uh, detect the Wi-Fi signal flow and uh, we will auto offload auto flow to the schedule uh, in vehicle or vehicle. Also if we uh, detect the uh, schedule uh, schedule is too low, signal is too low and we, we detect the Wi-Fi signal is stronger than uh, radio, you also upload to the Wi-Fi. So this is also seamless Wi-Fi stereo upload uh, patent. Uh, and I'm going to introduce our second topic is about our uh, cyber security, no, the cyber security. Uh, this is a defense, uh, this is a typical uh, industrial application. Uh, this is, uh, will be have a land, wind, and also uh, land, wind, uh, and uh, uh, this is typical. Uh, you have a control, control center from the remote control center, the remote connection uh, to the uh, this industrial application, typical. A different field site here, uh, this is land, and land. Uh, this is a ring here, a ring, and uh, this is a different field site, uh, different field site. And in this part, in this, uh, uh, we provide for the cybersecurity, we provide, uh, uh, we, OTA, OTA is, uh, uh, is not only uh, device major, uh, cloud-based uh, device major OTA. Uh, in the next version, uh, we also provide cloud-based cybersecurity. Uh, that means we can take, monitor uh, all the device status, uh, then to make sure uh, this is all devices is protected well. This is very important uh, to by using the by apply the cloud uh, the latest cloud technology uh, to monitor the device status and also there was status CPU status uh, all the device status uh, uh, this is the, the uh, cloud based cybersecurity technology <coughs> and then the next protection will be a network uh, system. Uh, separate separation. This is to protect the industrial against industrial system from enterprise network and also uh, the DMZ. DMZ. Later we are more describe about the DMZ uh, we provide from our our uh, router series technology. And also we provide a firewall uh, VPN in our router in our router uh, series products. And also uh, in the land we use a uh, network segmentation. Uh, using by using the VLAN, uh, using VLAN here, uh, using different VLAN in the land uh, to divide the uh, uh, networks. And also in the device side, uh, we provide different hardware, uh, we provide encrypted password, user profile, and also uh, the activated and used service. Uh, later, I will more describe about uh, what we have done uh, to provide this service. Uh, the first of all, the protection is by using uh, the cloud-based cybersecurity technology. Uh, this is a very important technology because we, uh, when we have any cyber attack, uh, it's very important to know the real-time CPU RAM and operation real-time. And also, uh, we would like to know more information on the system process and we're monitoring the protein. Then we can have a early detection of any cyber attack. Uh, this is a very important uh, cloud-based cybersecurity technology. And then we apply the uh, 
AI and the machine learning technology and the OTA, it, it, it can uh, help us to have a low cost positive. So this is the, the, our next piece for the OTA, how we will provide secure master technology to protect all our devices uh, to monitor device, all the information in real time, all the usages in real time. So that will help the creator very easy to know which device under attack and you know, take any actions. For example, uh, we can do some patches uh, to protect, to do any firmware over the air, or up, firmware upgrade over the air. Uh, that's very important uh, technology and detection. And also, later on, introduce uh, the, uh, right now, our OTA already combined with the QNAP NAS system. So, all the warning, warning messages putting that device on, device off, or signal, why signal is too long, is too low, or uh, the device, which device is under cyber attack, or we can uh, use, we can, uh, administrator can receive these warnings through the SMS, SMS or through the instant messaging of this service. And then, this is the DMZ uh, and the port forwarding uh, we support in uh, our uh, router in our router series. Here uh, you can see the uh, DMZ is uh, uh, DMZ is uh, isolated network. Isolated. Uh, for example, some services like web service FTP and mail server uh, may uh, connect to a LAN. Uh, this is a firewall connect to LAN. So this is DMZ. DMZ. That need to be frequently connected to, to internal networks. So in that case. In this case, uh, we all, uh, we all, uh, this is, we all uh, arrange, this is a DMD zone, uh, DMD uh, here. Uh, for, uh, this is for uh, the FTP uh, web uh, or web service, uh, we can put here, here, DMD zone. Uh, you can see this is isolation, isolated network. And then in our router, we, we can use our router to support, this is QLA, uh, so they will be this place, DMD, Will be an isolated network or a totally separate with the LAN. So this will be secure LAN. And then by using the port forwarding technology, uh, will allow us more connection to a specific, specific service within the LAN. For example, OTA service. So in this topology, in this use case, uh, we use the, our router uh, to provide uh, to to provide our uh, web service. In our in DMD zone, and then also we put uh, our OTA service in a secure lane uh, to uh, to to ensure all the tier topology. This is our uh, uh, web UI web UI uh, to see the DMZ uh, zone the settings and also core quality how to use in our router our router. They go to the next slide, and then we we also uh, from the uh, we also provide a secure remote access uh, for the VPN server for the router series, We provide a VPN server for data encryption. Uh, we provide provide AES, AES many encryption AES uh, two hundred fifty six encryption method, and also diving remote access, and we provide uh, IPsec IPsec over VPN and also GRE L two TP for the secure remote access. Support the secure channels over multiple networks, hybrid, public, and also hybrid network. And also we support uh, the activated ad user service. For example, uh, for secure reasons, we don't want uh, our uh, web service uh, to be used from outside. So we can have here, uh, here to disable, disable these services. The web, your name, SMP, or SSH, or who are disabled, or that's all. Uh, we can do this if you want. Uh, filter all, okay, disable, and use service here. So that's uh, uh, to make uh, our uh, device very secure, very secure. So this is a secure remote access we provided. And then we, uh, uh, we, uh, we provide the firewall. It is a stateful inspection firewall uh, to monitor all the status of all the connection all the, at all times. Uh, you can see that this is a firewall policy 
can come in or I'll go. This is the wind showing. You can see this is the auto outbound firewall. Or we can filter uh, source IP filter, the CDIP filter, and those source port, filter, the CDIP port filter. Or this is accept or drop as firewall policy. So this is a stateful, is a stateful inspection firewall provided. Which ports are uh, industrial field bus protocol for for example, a mobile TCP or Ethernet IP can be supported by using a router firewall. Also, uh, we already uh, uh, know uh, many uh, like uh, uh, from when uh, how to provide a security uh, from when uh, outside connect to the land. So right now we want to uh, know uh, some of the cyber security that may happen inside the land. The, the land. Let's take a look at the, there are main, there are five major cybersecurity threats in that sort of It could be the threats could be happen in a new deployment devices and also for the existing devices because the protection may be not enough uh, from the viewpoint of hardware chip SOC or is too old chip uh, or uh, is old firmware or is not secure kernel so. There could be many problems happen with these devices. Oh, this is from the device viewpoint. Okay. This uh, the we we see the in the network on uh, the network here. Uh, this is uh, this is it, security threats. Uh, this is from the it happened to that device right side. From the firmware or from the uh, chip itself, hardware itself, or from the kernel, or kernel itself. And we in the networking, in networking here, it probably uh, cause of uh, unsecured data transmission or unencrypted key data or a peculiar error, incomplete event logs, and uh, unauthorized access. So these could be the five major cyber security threats in the industrial day. Uh, let's uh, take a look at our solution, OMS solution uh, in the land side. Here we can see uh, we provide uh, from the hardware side, uh, uh, we provide a secured, secured ASIC. Uh, this is secured ASIC, uh, it's great. And also uh, software, software. That means uh, we provide secured ASIC, uh, secured kernel, secured kernel, and also secure software, secure software. Uh, to have a, provide an integrated cyber security solution. This is a total uh, security solution in our device. Uh, we can see here, uh, including the hardware protection here, uh, this is AC. Uh, we, the AC, uh, the secure AC, secure AC. And also we provide secure, secure kernel, secure kernel here. Kernel. And also we provide all the protection this is a fork layer. We provide uh, layer two to layer level seven cyber security protect. You can see some of the best features. Like uh, uh, we provide layer two, uh, layer two to layer seven and uh, packet classification. This is uh, we provide the ACO, uh, layer two, layer two to layer level seven. 100, uh, up to 128 bytes of the packet. So that we can see the pack. The uh, cyber security from the level stable two to level seven to level seven. You can see here uh, we have provided uh, uh, IP source card and also a dynamic ARP inspection if it's be here. These are all uh, we provide the secure software to take uh, in the land side. And also this is the uh, we we provide the access control list. Uh, this is from the level seven to level level two to level seven, uh, because we we are developed the industrial grade industrial grade uh, device, so uh, we can support IPv4 and IPv6 AC, and also we support it from level table level two to level seven, and also for the HMI in the industrial application, quite an example you can see you can provide a deep packet inspection for the industrial program, for example Ethernet IP and the 
mobile TCP uh, to the all read only or uh, discard the right packet. In this case, the case you can see the pure gate HMI here uh, is can read only read or uh, read is allowed to read or uh, read the data uh, to uh, the Ethan IP this mobile slave device. So this is Ethan IP or mobile slave device data. Uh, this read only. But the SCADA HMI here is not allowed, not the right, or right to this device. So this will be protected by our ACO uh, this technology. So this is a deep tech inspection for the industrial Ethernet IP and the mobile TCP. Uh, this is simple for how to use the technology. To do the uh, cyber security. Then I will, uh, this is a, a, a Brief, uh, brief view, uh, this is an overview for the uh, our Things Master OTA. And all Things Master OTA uh, can manage uh, all the devices, device made with uh, all the devices, you know, signal uh, strength, and then do the firmware upgrade page. Uh, this is also important because if we, the uh, cyber, uh, we found anything, uh, uh, for the, we wanna do some uh, secure page, uh, we can use the, this one. Uh, to do a page device from upgrade. Okay. So this is uh, important, uh, also important in the cyber security. Uh, so as I just introduced, uh, here we are not just only uh, to can monitor. Uh, we are not only monitor the device information here. We also can uh, monitor all the CPU, all the RAM status real time. So that can help to know uh, any of the device is under attack or if the administrator want to do any actions to which device and then we can do uh, like a, a firmware grade uh, to, uh, to do some security patch very easy. And then this is uh, for uh, security because right now uh, we have a cloud solution. Uh, cloud solution right now uh, for the security uh, we order all here, uh, we can support VPN technology in our uh, uh, multi-site, uh, this part, uh, we feel side one, feel side two, and uh, we, in our cloud technology, we use the latest uh, TLS encryption and also use the x dot 509 authentication uh, to, to protect the data transmission. So this is uh, from, from cloud side, uh, when the device connect to monitor for our, our uh, cloud, uh, things about or things about OK, so this is also uh, important security, uh, important security to do the multi-site measurement anytime, anywhere, and uh, very secure. Uh, very secure. Uh, this is a uh, uh, multi-tenant architecture, so deep, uh, made, made, uh, grouping and organized. Multi-tenant architecture is also important from the security because each owner can only manage. Uh, this is the uh, project A's owner. Uh, this is our administrator for users and administrator for project A, they only can manage their device. Project B also can only can manage user in the project B, only can manage the device in the project B. Project B so for the uh, important uh, for the cybersecurity and also for security reasons, it's also important. And then I'll introduce uh, the our OTA uh, is run right now. We support uh, the QNAP NAS. Uh, very easy to deploy. You know, we can just download from APB Center. You can see here. This is OTA OTA here. You can combine with the QNAP NAS, and then we'll take a look what we uh, uh, we we have some more advantages uh, over QNAP NAS. For the QNAP NAS uh, system, we can. Use the email, SMS, this is a message, for example, Skype, Facebook, IM, and also push service. You can see here, if you have any warnings, uh, like the device off or wire signal is too, too low, too low, or cyber attack, cyber attack. Which device is under cyber attack? It's important to uh, notify the administrator using the S email or SMS or instant message push service. So here you can see all the we can see this is a push service, push service, uh, this is email, email, or we can use this is uh, uh, Skype, Skype, this is uh, SMS. 
and we, we see it from the you name that system we where this is OTA you can choose very easy or you can choose you want to be modified uh, notified uh, through which uh, which uh, you can use email SMS instant message or push service or you want uh, to choose all or we probably all all information uh, from from these four uh, interfaces so it's not a problem to choose all. And also we can see, uh, we can also use uh, NAS notification, notification rules uh, to, to choose uh, different rules and different, uh, when, uh, to set different rules for different service. SMS or Skype, maybe put, choose here or choose here. Choose here. Different service can be, uh, not okay rules can be changed here. And also, uh, can change, uh, can choose uh, like warning, uh, notification, warning, or errors, uh, which uh, depends on the information, the levels of the notification. You can uh, have uh, different levels, like uh, notification, uh, warning, uh, errors. So it's very convenient to use notification rules. Also, this is all the supporting model for OTA. Uh, it was, you can see the uh, all all ICB products and also all router series, a routing switch is supported. So, uh, supported by using OTA to do a major. And also, uh, they, that means if you use, uh, using, customer use the OTA, that means uh, it's not only convenient, but also can be protected by the cyber attack, also security reason, OTA. And also, this is a, uh, the brief uh, over the uh, over over a picture for our systems. Uh, is, this is the IoT platform uh, the system are provided. Here we can see the security. Uh, we use TLS X X dot security. And also, you can see these modules. This is a AI module provide machine learning. Uh, this is uh, for our secure master. Uh, we have a machine learning AI module uh, to uh, to have uh, early detection and also uh, force low rate, provide force low rate, positive. And the next topic I want to introduce is the difference, the routing switch, uh, difference between the routing switch and the layer three switch. The layer three switch here, uh, you can see, uh, this is our uh, uh, major difference. We we can see from the routing performance. Uh, they three routing protocol and also uh, an AT WAN or also firewall or VPN. Uh, we can see the major differences are here. The routing pro performance uh, in the layer three switch is how it based is where speed. Routing switch will be so basic. Routing. There is no major difference. But uh, routing protocol here, uh, you can see there is no uh, much difference between the routing switch and layer three switch. The most important thing is here. In the layer three switch, you can see there is no uh, web port, no NAT. Uh, so here, a uh, routing switch will provide uh, NAT uh, web port as well. A firewall, uh, state for uh, invasion firewall, DMZ, and also a VPN here. So that's the major difference you can see here. It, uh, in the routing switch, uh, provide a web port as for the, the firewall, VPN, uh, NAT functions. The routing uh, goes to the CPU and using the chip. So we can see the reason why we choose inclusive file for the router switch. The router doesn't support, because we can see the router doesn't support full switch functions. For example, VLAN routing or VLAN routing, LAN security. So we just use uh, LAN security. So the router doesn't support full switch functions. And but the switch also doesn't support uh, when an AT VPN file. I just introduced. So one master router switch provides both. Both both. That means we combine router technology and switch technology together to to be one device. So that is cozy. Router switch provides when the native file and also VLAN routing and security and also for network redundancy security. Basically, routing switch, routing switch. Router switch, router switch. 